any mum you? And she said, no. I said, all right then. I'll see you later. <laughs> and she went, oh, 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 oh. Anyway, went to Dobby's, the garden centre. And uh, you know those ready meals? The ones that are better than the best ones. And I went, uh, are they in a wooden box? I don't know. I said, they called Charles something. Yeah. And I went, right. She went, anyway, two for two pound. <laughs> it's gone until what's happening in your life to let like, nothing's happened. <laughs> oh, Dobby's Garden Centre. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> you got chicken tikka and a fish pie. Bang. Go crazy. Wait till you hear home. this. In oh, home. I can't Full wait. I have it, have it. Get it at some point. Is it in Saroon soon? It can be. <laughs> <laughs> I need two bites. Oh, Blizzard's in. Oh, Dion's the in. Blizzard. Ibby. He's, is he still locked down, the Blizzard? Are they still locked down in the West Country? Uh, Not West Country, they, uh, they, Black Country. They bloody should be. True. What do you mean, what do you mean in Birmingham? He's, so, he's, he's Solihull, isn't he? Yeah, so he's Solihull. It's close enough. Yes, we are. Yeah, JT. Is oh, yeah, of course you are. Of course you are. Yeah, you're still locked down. I forgot. We were just talking <laughs> South London. I forgot, I lost my mind. <laughs> It, the only way to not be locked down is to be down south. Isn't it? Hey, that's because we've already had it. All the all the fab, all the people who go. Well, I will say Birmingham got a fair dose last time, but the northeast didn't, and Newcastle didn't. And now, fuck, it's four hundred percent increase off the chart. Yeah, Christopher, our, our on the we had our highest week ever did last week. So. Well, fingers crossed for this week then. <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to say. It's fucking <laughs> yeah. mad. But I don't know if we'll quite reach those peaks, but we're trying hard. Okay, uh, we've done nothing to stop or prevent the spread. Uh, can we check the figures again? Are they worse? Oh, six. Odd. We've done the rule of six. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. That makes all the difference. You can only hang around in a six. What, on the bus? No, not on the bus. At school? Not at school. At work? Not at work. I don't see how this is going to work. Just shh, six. <laughs> I've put an appeal into chat. <laughs> Six sound is good, says Patrick Pyle. Um, <laughs> did I have a rundown? Uh, Russ, no. Stuart, Sean, Scotty. You've already mentioned Mick, the big Dom star. JT, Chris on the morrow. Oh, Bob Clark. Bish. Stuart Drummond. Jibby. RB. Clarky. Oh, <laughs> Andy. Drum dog. Big mad Andy's in. Pelosi. Lo lovely, lovely Dion. Uh, let's roll intro. Yes. We're live. We're Yay! Live. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the new Ohm Show, Chapter Thirty Six. Very special show this evening. We've got John from. Yes. Hang on. Is there anything else special about it? From <laughs> just add Nick org mm -hmm, You mm -hmm. could have had just dot uk, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know, but yeah, I like. I think org works better. Yeah, it makes it know. sound illegal. Um, yeah. yeah, so we've got him, and we've also got special guest, David, from the Vaguely Vaping Related Podcast, the new third wheel. Third yeah. wheel of the, of the, of the uh, tractor. Of the UK's favourite vaping podcast. Yes, the, the, isn't the only... Well, so that details, John. Details. Yeah, okay. I, I, couldn't I, was, I was being serious, I don't remember. Yay, David's here! David's here, the new, the, new, the new podcaster, the new host, new co-host of the Vegas Vapor and other podcast. We'll talk about that later, but uh, good oh, to have yes, you with us. Are. Good to have you with us, Dave. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. No sweat. Um, so, oh, yeah, yeah, anyway. Cracking show, <laughs> cracking show tonight. Due to the fact that last week there wasn't very much new stuff to show, and the new stuff that there was to show was all pods and AIOs, I've delved further afield this week. I've, uh, I've really. I even know what one of them is then. I've really I stretched do. out further into the vaping universe to pull more things our way, and as a result, wow. we've got a cracking, 
new vaping items segment uh, this yes. week. Um, there's like 14 new things fuck, fuck. to show, and it's not all pods. So that is good. That is good. That is going to be good. We've got the news as well, and uh, we're going to be grilling David on all things vaping himself and podcasting. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that, and uh, we'll we'll share the links and stuff like that, and we'll tell everyone about the podcast when we get there as well. Um, but first of all, everybody wants to know what you're vaping and what you're drinking, John. Oh. I am I'm vaping on. This has been this is this has been to work with my wife today. The billet box, not on purpose. I just left it. I left, it fell out of my pocket as I got out of the car. But uh, yeah, she could have wandered around using it as a universal translator, just you like talking asked. into it. Like, <laughs> Probably. I'm also going to make a really bad joke about a very specific condition that's quite uh, there's quite a lot of on the ward, but I won't. Anyway, I have got uh, I've got my face on a button. That's what I've got. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly dropped it. Right to the keyboard. Um, I know. I know. It's only I know, a matter of time. I know. I know. That's the scary. Just throw thing. it over your shoulder now. No, uh, I've shattered the door. I've shattered a door on one of these already. Yeah, fuck. I have got a billet box Rev 4 inside of that. I've got the EVL Alien. Wow. And inside that, I've got a secret still. Another secret of the same range of secrets. Mm. A potential mm. new juice line for potential just new juice line. Um, Yeah, and I've got a, a, a PC coil in it as well. It's good. Mmm, the hard sell. But what are you drinking now? Oh, well, anyway, you can't just be vaping that, surely. No. I've got uh, my last of my crack current personal stash in the uh, Dvar 16 on top of the MVP5. Personal uh, stash. 50 milligram, yeah. Yeah. Put your own money in the till, did you? Um. Actually, I had 30 mil of concentrate left that was mine, and a, and a young prison guard who works down the road came in, and uh, one of his favourites is, is, is crack current. And so, was it Jimmy the Screw? Yeah, and I sold it to him because I'm a nice guy. Well, I mean, I sold it. I didn't give it away. I'm not a fucking idiot. But <laughs> it was nice of you to cash in there. <laughs> I could have just kept it. And that's what paid for the beer. Not really. Yeah, just in double. <laughs> Gave it the big a big sell. Weeks, this yeah. is my stash. That's what they always say in of... car phone warehouse, isn't it? I use this phone. This is my, this is my <laughs> phone. I've got this one. Yeah, I've got this one. Show it us then. Show it us Especially when, you know, it's funny when you're in car phone warehouse, sometimes you'll start, out, especially when a new phone's out, the week will begin, new phone's out, right, and, the new, and the opening, and it's kind of like Samsung or Google or whoever has got this new phone. But by like Wednesday, someone's found out the fucking awful fault with the phone. So you've now back at the stage you were before. So you don't know what phone you want, but you know what you definitely don't fucking want, which is the fucking phone you wanted. And you go and they go, have you seen this feature? And you go, yeah, well, I would buy that phone, but which said is shit and the headphone jack falls off. Mm. There is that, but uh, it's a great boon. <laughs> I want it. Fuck off. Um, I have got uh, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, which I really like. Americans can't normally make beer, but I do like this, and I do like that uh, Lagunitas. I like this. The one that's like four percent is shit, but the five point six is all right. That's what's in here. Okay. Mm. Mm. I don't rate that one. Do you not? That that one you just showed that green one. Oh, I've got some cans of. Um, Mangoes on the run. Du, 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 du. Mm. I quite like that. Um, yeah, I just got piss bored of punk. It's, it's never got. It's nothing. It's fine. Oh, yeah, it's just, fine. It's fine. On beery news, I found that there's a new collab a collaboration out because it's so many years since the founding of Ghost Ship by Adam. So they've teamed up with Beaver Town mm. and made a beer called Beaver Stormy Ship. Night. Beaver ship, yeah. I think it's called Stormy Night or something like that, and it's only three point six percent, but it doesn't taste like it. It's just good beer. Stuart anyway. Drummond's called you out on chat. What's he called me? He oh. said a sixteen millimeter Atty looks mental on an IVP. An MVP five, it does. I, do, I don't care. But that everything, I don't care. 
but I don't care. I've had that on the fucking weeks. It does look mental. It's fine. Uh, Dom, John, it's just that Nick going to do more beer glasses. Well, actually, weirdly, we are doing more beer glasses. I'm gonna, we're going to do... That was uh, a plan. We're going to do an IPA, the the IPA glass. We're going to do that. But we're going to do it. With, we're going to etch it. Not. We're going to have it etched on, not printed. Mark, Same price. Mark Williamson's got a good suggestion in chat. Ghost Beaver. Ghost Beaver. That would be good. That's fantastic. Beaver Ghost. I don't know. Beaver. Uh, I don't know. Beaver Ship. That would be Ship quite Town. Good. <laughs> That's what my, my father-in-law calls it. It's one of those father-in-law jokes. If we're in a pub and they've got ghost ship, he will always change the, the P to a T when he asks me if I want a beer because he hates it. They go, John, ghost shit. And I go... <laughs> oh, he doesn't like ghost ship? No, he hates it. How's it? But he likes um, terrible beers. You like, you know, those beers they think you've got to put on the radiator for a while. Like uh, uh, Brown, what's it called? Nuki Brown. Not Nuki Brown, the one with the red label. So it's brown ale, but I can't believe it is. Uh, and he loves um, that Cornish shit beer. Begins with D. Oh, I'm doing really well today. Yeah, I know what you mean. My my uh, my father's uh, the same. He would class himself as a real ale drinker. Yeah, oh, yeah. But the I ones he likes are like so Doom far off. Doombar, that's the one. Doombar. Yeah. And 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 he keeps his beers in the porch. As you would, obviously. Not uh, and that's everything. Yeah, because it's it, colder than the house. No, not really. Not on a summer's day. And, and he'll ask my darling wife if she drinks Bex. She quite likes her Bex. Cheeky Bex. Do you want a Bex? And I didn't realise till the other week they are also keeping the ghost shit company in the porch. That must be... I mean, warm... Well, not... Room temperature IPA is not great. Room temperature lager is fucking off the Well, job. my anyway, mum's porch is always colder than a living room. I was going to make a terrible joke then, but I don't want to. <laughs> so I've decided. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to pull out. That's what. That's what. <laughs> that's what they do. That's what. That's what. It's uh, the modern it's day really beer not. seller. <laughs> no, but it's just awful. Right, David. Over Hello. to you. What are you? Uh, what are you drinking? Because I know you're drinking tonight. And what are you vaping? And I'm going to reset my screen because I can't see. Fuck all. But I know you can hear me because you're talking back. <laughs> See you in a second. Okay. Okay. Right. So I am. I'll start with drinking. I am drinking a toffee vodka and lemonade, as I don't drink that often. So it's just a little tipple. That's, it's really tonight. coloured it, hasn't it? It has. Yeah. It basically looks like a very weak lager now. Yeah. But yeah, it's sort of. It's sort of. Yeah. That's that's that. But I, I like that quite a lot. And the uh, toffee what, what, vodka what, what, does go well with some. Lemonade. Oh, that was it. Toffee vodka and lemonade. Is that it? Yeah. From uh, Fen, Fen Spirits. Lemonade Fen Spirit. is not used not... with enough drinks. No one ever puts it in. Like, there's no you... gin and lemonade. There's no... Yeah, people drink that. No, not really. It's, it's very late 80s, mid 90s. Everything, Shinzano and lemonade. And Lemonade's fucking... great. Taboo and lemonade, if you ever remember that people ordering that, give us a taboo. And le- mainly I, a, a I have a drink. fresh orange and lemonade. <laughs> yes, I have that. Yeah, St. Clement's. I have that when I go, if I go to somewhere fancy for a breakfast. Yes. I, uh, have that there. <laughs> Dickhead over there just asked for St. Clement's. <laughs> yeah, well, l- lucky enough, the, pl- the place I go into knows what you're talking about. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have no <laughs> fucking idea. Yep, he's escaped. Yeah, <laughs> I always yeah, I, I always start off with orange juice and lemonade, and then so you work out whether they know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's good. But, yeah. I like it. So, yeah, so, so I've got that vaping on. I am vaping vaping on the Tesla Y2, uh, 85 watt, and on top oh, of that, yeah, yeah, I know, I, I, big I, fan. I I love this. I said, uh, it's when, yeah, when when Richard reviewed it, I thought I'll give that a try, and it's just so light, it's durable. Yeah, and it's got a it. fucking big button. It's not made to be anything more than it is. No. It's like built for purpose. It's yeah. light, thing... it's strong. It's... Yeah, the only thing that, that I don't like about it is that all the cutouts it's got in it, which I know is a design choice, but I just worry yeah. that stuff's going to get stuck in it. It's not a super looker, yeah. But, um, but yeah, so on top of that, I have got the Dwar FL um, MTL version, and inside that I have got Cactus Mojito. Good choice. 
Is it? Is it? Amer- I didn't even know there were two letters. Is it FL? Yes, it's the FL. Version. Oh, okay. I think it's the FL. Isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's the FL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're definitely it, right. Yeah. I, I just don't. I should have. I should have added it when I brought said it when i've got the 22 or whatever well no yeah but no you've got the you've got the that's just the original that's the 18 isn't it so that's so just the normal the, this this is the revised the new revised one but i've got that too all oh, right you got that one as well yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <clears throat> i'm a poncy twat though, so <laughs> yeah no yes I'm, i managed to get one of those so i've got that how new is it that? how new it is, is that great. one it got released big um it was during lockdown Oh, okay. Your sorry, yours is yeah, the new, new. Yeah, mine's yeah. the old one. Well done. Yours mine's is the old twenty-two, John. Old twenty-two. Got it. Got yeah. it. So that's, that's what did they so change? The what did they change? Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. What the revision? Uh, basically, it's just got the um, the cap part inside isn't metal anymore. It's peak, and they've right. set it up now so as you can only put the cap on one way, so as the holes are always in the the wicking holes are always in the right place. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So they've just done that. Um, so yeah, so I've got that. Very good. And I've got the uh, Aspire Mix with the EV- EVL Twin on top and a Dibbly Drip Tip. And that has got uh, Cactus Lychee in it. Look at that. He's the man. And finally, I've got the Aspire Mulus uh, that's got the 0.7 ohm Nautilus coil in. And inside that, I've got Jester's Juice. That's that's yes, a, that's got a strong following that mod. Yeah, but yeah, it's brilliant. As soon as it came out, it's like it's definitely a good replacement for the uh, Plato. Yeah, yeah. Good comment. If you, I thought you were going to go because everybody always compares it to the wrong thing. Saying like saying it's saying oh yeah, it's the new billet box. No, it isn't. Well, if you were only ever going to put a Nautilus coil in your billet box, then yeah, fine. fine. But other than that, yeah, no, is... it's not comparable. Which is basically what I would do. That's why I've never bought a billet box. Yeah, yeah. I've had, I, mean, I had I the Plato. Cut. I used to take it on holiday every year, and it, it was it did exactly what it. Well, I used to take it on holiday and then shout at um, different Aspire Aspire coils for being shit. But yeah, I, I, it was still great, and uh, great. It's, you could chuck it wherever you want; it would break. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, I, I love love the Plato, but now when they bought this out, that's yeah, that's that's definitely a fine replacement for it. Barry so, uses so his with an RBA. To be fair, I have I've got I've Barry I've got the RBA and I've tried it a couple of times and it works really well. But for me, I just like having the ease of the coil. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. only reason I use that because for this particular thing, it's wet, wet, wet. the the times when I used to go out and about for work to work. <laughs> this used to be my all day carry. Because it's just easy in the pocket, light. Job's done. Yep, perfect. Yes, yes, that's that's my thing. So, Richard, what are you vaping on? What are you drinking on? The only guest to ever remember passing on. (laughs) Yeah, well done. (laughs) You're on a ten. (laughs) Can you keep it up? Um, Okay. Uh, So, can only be Graham in the dead rabbit. I love it. It's fantastic. Super. I thought you'd like it. Hundred percent brilliant. Uh, yeah, really, really like it. And still this, still this, still big fan. Aegis. Ooh, there's a new Aegis in the new section later on. That's how. That's exciting. Um, in there is the last of Isabel. Isabel is also in the launcher. On the correct size mark for my tank. It can't be get fucked. It can't be bad that uh, launch because you kept using it. Same coil. Oh, that's a fucking good coil. Three or four weeks. Should be every. That's just how it should be. Yeah, a coil a month, I think, would be idyllic. It would be good. But some people oh, yeah. vape so much. Some people vape so much juice. Yeah. <laughs> that it's like not even fair. It's not no. even. It's like. It's when you talk to somebody and they go, "Coil only lasts two days." And you go, "How much do you? How much do you vape it down?" They go. Not much, 30 mil. Yeah. It's like saying, my car's shit. Oh, is it? Yeah, I only do a thousand miles there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's struggling, is it? So having 60 mil through it, for anybody on like a two mil tank, that's 30 repos. That's like a, like a month long. Uh, so that's the stuff, just the general stuff. But actually, because my new thing is I only do one review queue item at a time now. Because I was getting all muddled. So... I use it until I video it, and then next thing. So the current thing that's next for review is this. This. 
which is the Anani V2 from Asmodus. A Anani? Anani. Uh, Anani V2 from Asmodus is a little mouth to lung jobby. They've uh, updated it from the original. And uh, yeah, it's the V2 mouth to lung. And a bit like the COG, it's um, quite. They've missed a few tricks. Um, and it's a little bit limited compared to some of the all singing, all dancing mouth to lung stuff that's out now. But just like the cog, it's right in my zone. So I'm Good. absolutely, absolutely loving it. It doesn't look bad either. Very quiet. No, it's not bad looking. But they've done this. Do you remember um, the Mark Bugs? Uh-huh. Mark Bugs always had that like satin finish. Was it the gem? Was that what it was? Uh, no, they did a series of 23 millimeter atties. Yeah, but one, one, one. I remember there was one. There was a few. Oh, I, I don't know. I remember all... they were like they were. The mods were all sorcerers. Yes, that's right. Or... Wizards and stuff. Yeah. Well, sorcerers apparently is wizards, but I can't. I wasn't the mod. Wasn't one of them. Someone's going to come up with it in the chat. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. But it was all. You're 100 percent right. It was all on a magicy wizardy theme. But, yeah, yeah. But it's got that satin finish that they all had. They all had a, they, You couldn't pair a Mark Bugs thing with anything else at that time. No. That with another Mark Bugs thing. It was like a, and it was twenty three mil, so you was you were literally locked Every, in. Everything was polished, wasn't it? Which is, which, so, yeah, I agree. So it's kind of, it's not obviously it's steel, but it's mm. grey. Okay. It's not actually shiny in any way. So it's actually quite hard to match up. It's weird. It's not. It's not. I wouldn't get say it's attractive, but it is unique. And and Ultim with the grey one. I get the Ultim and Black thing, that's become a thing, hasn't it? But yeah, to, yeah. to only include an Ultim tank with the grey version, who's got a yellow and grey device? Yeah, I was right. Device? Russell, uh, Russell was saying gem. gem. It there was a go. gem. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they were they were good in that. I'm not slagging them off, but they were very unique looking. And uh, purely... Oh, yeah, I, I am slagging them off. The gem was a piece of shit, and it just auto siphoned. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's grey and yellow. Grey mods. And I just shit don't have things. anything that's really grey and yellow. This has kind of got a bit of grey and a bit of orange. Uh, I don't know. And I put a blue tip on to go with. I don't know. I've tried my best. Uh, I don't think. I think. I know. I, I said it's not. It's not uh, ugly. Um, I think it's one of those you want to see it in in front of you. Yeah, and there's a there's a black one, and it's all normal. If, oh, okay, okay. You know, if you want a black one. Uh, so yes. So really enjoying that. Uh, quite limited, like I say, but really enjoying it so far. Video up Saturday morning, probably, or Friday night. Who knows? Uh, so that's an actual thing. Oh, drinking San Miguel for starters. Um, and then for dessert, a dead Baby's pony. A, shit. a dead pony. You've got to start with a shit one. San Miguel is so. I, no, I just don't even think I'd bother. 130 Miguel, years. Just, that's just a holiday beer for me. That's one of the ones. 130 years. It wants to be really cold. Even. <laughs> Mrs. John doesn't not like a lot of lagers, but she has a personal hatred for Sam Miguel. I can't agree. It has to be cold, and the weather has to be hot, and then it tricks your brain into, I'll just drink it. It's like if you don't really like ice lollies, but if it's cold enough, you'll have one. Yeah. Um, Oh, the chalice. Oh, yes, the chalice. Fair enough. Russell Blair taking all the the points. That was the dripper, wasn't it? Oh, Stuart was the first one to come up with the gem. I, I the got gem, hundred percent correct, but the chalice as well—that definitely rings. Was that a dripper, the chalice? Possibly. I think it was a dripper. Oh, Dominic's going in on the San Miguel. Why? He's not happy. No, he's, he's not happy. That's fine. I, I get given that. I'm you got to start with a shit one. I, just, I don't know why no one understands this rule. I get, I get it. I get it. It's like when you get like a meal and somebody gives you some shit like peas. You just get the fork in. Eat. Yes. Yes. Get yes. them off the plate. Who cares? Yeah, no one gives a or, shit about peas. Yes, or just lick your armpit before having a cheesecake. <laughs> Do, yeah, but I only showed you that one video of me doing that, and then it's never ever. Yeah, but now it's become a thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's that. What's in the news, John? I was just going to tell you. <laughs> well, do tell us. That's uh, exactly uh, how uh, this uh, works. I'm going to. I kind of was getting it ready, and then I totally this forgot. Is, and... This is the format of the show yeah, we've been true. doing for four years. I yeah, ask you uh, what's in the news and then and I tell you. Okay. <clears throat> with that, with that, with that, with that, with that, with that, with that. It's kinda of different than we used to do, but that's fine. It's not exactly not really. 
Okay, that's fine. The Daily Mail has come up with a new way. Uh, uh, remember, it's absolutely true because I've read it in the Daily Mail. Is this one Daily... about boobs? Yes, it's boobs. The Daily Mail has decided that vaping uh, could give you cancer, but breast cancer. That's oh. what they've decided. <clears throat> vaping, I'm gonna just because they capitalise certain words, Daily Mail, because they need you to know. Vaping does raise the risk of breast cancer. Warn scientists amid concerns that young women are targeted by e-cigarette companies. Young women are. Uh, here we go. Vaping increases the risk of developing breast cancer. A new study suggests in another hammer blow to the vaping industry. Scientists <laughs> from a group of American universities, uh, including Yale, I'm just thinking John about Hopkins, boobs. And Princeton found exposure to e-cigarette vapor created a tumor-promoting environment in the breast and elsewhere in the body. Uh, let's see how they did that test. Um, uh, the US team carried out tests on female mice. Oh, you do. Some kept in fresh air, others exposed to e-cigarette vapor. After a fortnight, all were injected with breast cancer. At the end of six weeks, tumours had grown almost twice as fast in the mice exposed to the vapour. <laughs> uh, well, the mice who inhaled e-cigarette vapour were also more likely to develop a pulmonary metatarsis, secondary malignant tumours in their lung, which is often fatal when it occurs in humans. Well, uh, right we've had meetings where I've said this, I've said, <laughs> and I, I'll go on saying it. We should stop injecting women with breast cancer. And force them in a box with vapour for two weeks. I don't mind that bit. It's the, okay. it's the injecting them. With, that is, I just think I, I think it's wrong. We've got to I stop. To, well, I know we've got traditions in this country, but... It's I one of them. It's that, for me, and Easter. They're the two. Injecting yeah. women with breast cancer and Easter. If we could just knock them on the head, I think we Easter can really first, move Easter first, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Um <clears throat> the mice who inhaled these cigarette vapour were also more likely over did that. Um, let's, find, let's find the near paragraph near the, near the end here. Um, Professor Charles Coombs of the Cancer Research UK Imperial Centre cautioned that the study involved a small number, number of animals. <laughs> the results are suggestive, but not conclusive, he said. News of the finding comes days after scientists in the UK government's Committee on Toxicity said vaping can worsen heart disease and lung disorders, but was safer than smoking tobacco. You can basically fuck off the entire article and just read the last two paragraphs, and I feel you would be a better person because of it. I feel like... Like, science is like a beautiful thing. It really is. But now, in this new sort of world... I think we're going to have to start holding them, some of them to account. Well, because there's this culture, isn't there, that you can say anything in science, and until it's disproved, it's proved. And it's everyone's really... allowed to go, you know. Ben this is, Goldacre this is, said this, that something... He's 100%. Fucking bollocks, bollocks yeah. Ben Goldacre, uh, Dr. Ben Goldacre, uh, 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 kind of infamous bullshit buster, uh, said a while ago that if you publish results such as this that are not um, uh, double blind placebo tested and not a decent um, there's no decent control so the the, the numbers are stupid uh, he, he suggested you should be criminally culpable for doing it um, he said the fine should be massive you should be fined £200,000 and uh, or or do a year in jail to stop this happening it's because, got, something's got to happen because, because we've gone too it, far now it's ridiculous he also said exactly the same thing about data protection as well when he was talking about um the uh one when um the nhs uh was selling their data uh to statistics companies um he they claimed that nobody was identifiable and um somebody using suggestions from a lot of medical uh, people like Ben Colica uh, identified somebody within 20 minutes from a, a big mass of data because they weren't uh, 
you were looking for statistical anomalies which would identify who somebody was. Like a twin is a really good example of that. And do you know what else as well? I said this two years ago on the show, the old show. I can't believe there's not a place now in the world for an official, in some way accredited, vaping consultant that that you can introduce into your lab to verify that the experiment is relative to vaping, valid to vaping, you know, and the criteria, they could have criteria, like, first of all, you need a sample audience that's getting smoke pumped into the box as well, because it's purely harm reduction yep. against smoking. So you'd have a box not fresh of my smoke. Not relative. Yeah. Uh, but the, but I'll just, because are they, are they burning a C4 wick in there? Yep. Because if you exp- if you if you expose a mouse to burning cotton for a I week, I don't mean to promote this country because they've got some vile human rights records. But um, there are uh, they, they probably haven't got the internet. Um, Dubai is a shithole, um, but they uh, have been they they import people like that to make sure that experiments and things like that but, are valid. But even but even just in the workplace, someone to come yeah. in and explain to smokers. How to get started with vaping? Why it's worth a go? You know, understand tolerance around vapors in the work arena. Why they don't why want to stand with you in the smoking pit? Yeah, oh, know, I just think there's so much. Th- I'll go, even just go around explaining to nurses or midwives. Just, just not. Obviously, not telling them how to. Like, obviously, they know more. But very, we know something very specific here, and not the general public don't. And usually, in all of the walks of life, you end up with these consultants that do this. You get consultants going in explaining people's pension systems, people. You get, you know, explaining why they should carry on investing, why they should change the from default funds, and you know, explaining how to plan for your retirement in your workplace. You get, you get all these sort of consultants yeah, going in. We do. If you're lots of really simplistic things. If you've got fire extinguisher training at work, they don't just get Kevin from I who works in the post room. Kevin's read a fire extinguisher. Okay, yeah, Kevin's on his way up. He'll be up yeah, in a second. He'll show exactly. everybody how to use a fire extinguisher. They get a guy from Chubb. I mean, he's written on the fucking extinguisher. There's not really a lot you can fuck up on a fire extinguisher. And Kevin is perfectly capable, but you wouldn't be covered by the you would be covered by health and safety. It, yeah. it is absolutely stupid. I know David, you're working from home at the moment, aren't you? So it's not office vaping is not a concern. No. But yeah, like I said, I mean, when when I was working, it was I said I was the only smoker in my team. Now I'm the only vapor. So, but it was I just go out for a vape break every so often. Yeah, have a few puffs, stand standing outside the council house, and then come back in. Who's council house? Do you stand outside of? Do you just pick a different person? I mean, Maybe cities there. get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite. I remember being on a on a a Thai. Uh, train once um, from Bangkok to somewhere and uh, I wanted to know where the smoking area was because the first class you used to be able to smoke at the back but it was in the middle of the train I said, ah. so I asked the conductor I'm going to go for a cigarette Where's the, where can I smoke and he went ah ah this way and I, and I followed him and he led me into the second class and just went to sit there smoke <laughs> blow it on them <laughs> they haven't paid enough for a ticket anyway fuck them and, I, and I get, uh, my wife went that was quick and I went I didn't have a fag and she went Oh, how come anyway? I said the offer was blow it at poor people. I felt that wasn't really okay, so I didn't bother. Obviously, I went later when I was desperate and sat on one of them and blew it out. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's. I think we're in a bad place with scientific reporting. Yeah, pay there. somebody. There's so many people. There's, there's some. There's some really wise people in this industry, uh, and you could fuck as a company. It's a. It's a no loss in it. If you've got, especially if you've got smokers. But even if you've got vapors, make sure that they understand the battery situation, so you don't get one exploding in your office. Yeah, that's yeah. just what I mean, though. It's no, you, 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 yeah, you could just and tax loss, just knock it off. Stop. So I'm we had a vape consultant. Man. Yeah, isn't, yeah, yeah. Isn't the IBVTA like the closest thing we've got to that at the moment? They deal specifically within the industry, don't they? That's yeah. the problem with that. They don't talk outside. They were sort of talking to the government and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do they? talk to the government, but as the body of as, industry yeah, the industry, as the industry yeah. really voice of the industry um mm. yeah and next on to yahoo yeah i know it's weird i know it's weird to go to yahoo news it's not 1998 no, it's but fine. uh went with it i went with it for the bit of weird news i mean it was published three days ago uh, 
it, it's just odd, but I'm going to go with it. <clears throat> Global vape market outlook and forecast 20, 2020 to 2025. Shift from smoking towards vaping. Increased market consolidation. Increasing availability of varied e-juices. This is what they've said. What a headline. That is, yes, a heck of a thing. This is... The vape market is witnessing a shift from vaping to smoking no shit veteran vapors and heavy smokers have started to switch to bulky vapor mods it is expected that the vapor products market would be driven further um, by vtms and personal vaporizers during the forecast period disposables and rechargeable e-cigarettes are witnessing decline in their revenue as well as popularity worldwide as larger devices offer flexibility in terms of filling e-juices and are proving cost-effective in the long run. Uh, I just thought this is quite interesting. Another important reason for the popularity of vape products is the availability of different flavours on the market, which is really weird. Um, it's funny that that's clearly... For them to report this, it's clearly analytically evident, isn't it? It is clearly obvious, yeah. Uh, uh, but it's but it's one of those things that you actually do see out and about that you never think you'll ever see a hard number on. Because no. when you go to a pub now, there's way more guys with a cloudy sub tank now than just yeah, a I, tiny I, little. I, fuck it, I rarely see a closed system like out. No, not sorry. It is. A, I'm not to say that. I very very rarely see a pod system in the wild. <laughs> um, people don't use them. Well, was I think, in, I every, think in every beer garden now, you'll see someone pluming out, and it's a sub tank. Yeah, and they often you often see somebody. I've, the one I see when I know someone's a vapor is because they got a mod in their hand, and they nudge the missus who's like talk to her mates, and they go, <laughs> and they go, oh, and then you go, it's going to burn. Oh, away. traffic lights, white van, <laughs> oh, three, three down, just a cloud comes out. <laughs> yeah, yeah mm. that's pretty good. It's, I thought it was quite interesting, but yeah, which is an old shitty. Bit. Oh, I, any... look, I look forward to the two hundred watt vibe. <laughs> yeah. Well, Sometimes... they're going to have to follow the market forces, aren't they? Yes, uh, yeah. I think that, I think it is quite interesting, but I, I think that the uh, jewel has got has nowhere to go. That has to, we would always talked about this that it is. Is a there's new no... jewel coming out? Yeah, but it's the same old bollocks, isn't it? It doesn't. It's bigger. It, but if you want to get anywhere, but you're not going to carry on. A jewel is a start device. Well, I think it's ineffective. So I think it's there. You know, it isn't a leading. It doesn't lead each other. Show. Could you imagine if you were popping on a jewel and then someone came up with like a fucking whatever they called a crown on top of a 500 watt model? You vapor, <laughs> and you disappeared. You'd be like, what the fuck am I got this for? You'd instantly assume you'd lost some galactic war. Oh, for fucking hell. Yeah. Like it's something better. I had that I had that <laughs> a few years ago. Traffic lights, dual carriageway. And uh, I had to kept my cave on. And uh, some, uh, some some lad drove past. Uh, and he's, he was in the passenger seat and he shouted across. And he goes, what a sub on, mate. Because <laughs> <laughs> obviously he was seeing my tiny pathetic effort. And uh, he had like an Atlantis or whatever. He was like, you sub on, mate. <laughs> I was like, oh. maybe he was a vape consultant. If only you knew. He just left Barclays. <laughs> he was like, yeah. oh, wait there, wait there. I might as well do a bit of freelancing. Sub on, mate. <laughs> yeah. Kevin, let's go and do the fire extinguisher thing, right? <laughs> You're not a post boy today. <clears throat> well, this good. is the vaping. This what is the next? vaping post, which is kind of the knock on. This is the study. Auntie Ali actually sent me this, but it is. Uh, this is. This is using the figures to expand from this study. New study, adults who vape flavoured e-cigs rather than hmm, have more smoking cessation success in line with findings by multiple studies. A recent study released by the Journal of American Medical Association, excuse me, or JAMA, on the relationship between flavoured e-cigarettes and smoking initiation and cessation has indicated that adults who switch to flavoured e-cigarettes are more likely to be successful in qu at quitting smoking. <clears throat> While multiple entities insist that flavours serve only to entice teens to take up vaping, <laughs> research keeps indicating that flavoured 
Vaping products actually help adults to switch to the safer alternative. In fact, the current study found that overall consumption of flavoured products were not linked to teen vaping initiation. No shit! <laughs> On the other hand, it was strongly associated with adult smoking cessation success, with adults who switched to flavoured vaping products as opposed to non-flavoured ones being more likely to quit smoking altogether. The one thing I will say is that, that that's really kind of the whole thing but <clears throat> wouldn't it be good you know the thing on facebook some people have complained about this but i actually think it's a real step forward that the 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 fake news screen that's only going to get more and more use have you seen that if you if you misquote somebody facebook will warn you it's a misquote it instantly if you put if you put uh, a quote Put it in inverted commas and then write Nelson Mandela 1944 or something, not whatever 1944. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, he was old enough. But he wouldn't have settled up. 2002. Uh, Facebook will warn you that quote is not associated with him, and it will make it invisible. It will say we've hidden your post, and it will also do the same with fake news. If you pick up shit like the pandemic or one of those fucking idiots and try and post it on your page, it will be hidden. Uh, and it will it'll come up and say, no one will see it, and it will come up and say to you, it's fake news. There is a way around it, because it does currently doesn't work on a photograph. Yeah, yeah. It will work on a linked article, but won't work on a photograph. I only noticed this, because the other day, somebody misquoted Nelson Mandela, actually. They put the post up, a, a Nelson Mandela quote, and I read it, and I thought, he definitely didn't say that um, at all. That's not, that's not something Nelson Mandela would have said. He usually so said I stuff like, get me, get me Jerry Harwell. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Sp I love the Spice Girls. I would have thought, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's Les Dennis? <laughs> yeah, perfect. Um, Tommy Dimock. Yes, I was going to say, Ground Force. Get me. He just loves me, celebrities, didn't he? He just loves get celebrities. Me, get me Titchmarsh now. <laughs> I want a fountain. Stuff like that. He went but clean when he got out, though. <laughs> you Fair said, play yeah, to him. I'm still angry. Some still don't, angry. some don't. I'm still angry. Did anybody get their free Nelson Mandela? After all that? No, but it shows you that political songs work. Yeah, it's nine well, I years after it. that song. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a free Tommy Robinson, and I didn't get a free Nelson Mandela, and it's the last time I bothered with it. Any of it, I'm not doing it. Um, um, but I do yeah. think that'd be a great thing to put into. Uh, the problem is people find it intrusive. People don't want to know that what they're reading is shit. If you said at the top, of the, if there was a banner at the top of the page that Google said this is shit. What about yeah. people like the Daily Mail and stuff? That's fine, but that the satir being satirical is different. That's not. Mm. That's that's fine. But yeah, uh, technically though, How's I don't know if Facebook is fact checking stuff. And they're saying there's but, but, a new flavour of jam, but, and there isn't. If we can have an algorithm that looks for nipples in pictures, can we not have an algorithm that just says, well, okay, though, okay, here's I a better what, one. Actually, they could, instead of like your blue tick on Twitter, they could give like a, a green tick as, yes, we understand these are, Daily Mash is a reputable yeah. satire outlet, and therefore... But it wouldn't stop... If you knew what the Daily Mash was, or The Onion, and it said, and, and the top of the page gave you a warning and just said... Uh, I, I don't know, did yeah. like a crazy face and just yeah, said bullshit. Satire symbol, you it? wouldn't care. Well, no, even if it just said, bull, this is a lie, if you already know what those are, it wouldn't make any difference. And yeah, if it was true. something that you'd been sent... As you long as it's not taking it down. Shit. Yeah, yeah, not taking it down, just giving you a warning. I don't understand why we're not... There's, if the COVID has shown you shown an, an incredible ineptness that there is in worldwide in how fucking stupid people are, I, um, I'll tell you what, though, I 100% support the actual premise of the article. I, yeah, I, I honestly think it's a massive part of your vaping journey to get off the tobacco flavours and onto the different flavours. Not, 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 to, not to leave tobacco forever, but just to be vaping other flavours is massive because I think that's the point that you can't suddenly run out of vape at a wedding a and have a fag instead yeah. because your, your actual... The cessation has changed. You've changed the cessation. You can't just go back to tobacco. So I do think it's a. I do think it's. I do agree with what they say. I think it is important part of the process. Russell Blair did get his free Nelson Mandela, but he said it was very inappropriate. So that's, mm. I'm glad I didn't get it. Um, <clears throat> this is the last one, which brings us neatly back to kind of where we where, what, what Richard said. Uh, the grocer. I've gone with better education on vaping is needed to keep smoking in decline. 
Smoking prevalence rates in the UK have fallen to record lows, according to data released in July. But the office by the Office of National Statistics. Despite that accomplishment, smoking continues to be the leading cause of preventable death and disease in the UK. That isn't true. Killing more people each year than road accidents, obesity, alcohol and drug abuse combined. No, that's not true. Sorry, that is a lie. The That's what they should do. That's when you need that banner. Obesity kills more people. This distressing fact highlights a growing level of apathy towards the dangers of smoking that needs to be addressed. Um, it has fallen. Smoking rates are falling. They fell 0.6%. That's not really enough, is it? Uh, we're now at 14.1%, down from 62.5%. Well, I'm not sure the numbers are right. 50 all years. over this article. Yeah, I know. They're definitely, well, I know obesity took over smoking in about 2000. And I'm sure I've just read an article saying 6% drop in smoking in, during lockdown. Yeah, me too. Uh, well, 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 uh, well, let's just stick with the headline then. Uh, better education on vaping is needed to keep smoking in decline. I, we all I agree. agree. I agree. It's, it's the trouble is it's media led, isn't it? Yes. It's a media led education. It's, there's no, moment, pa- there's no pamphlets coming through your door. No. There's no one stopping you in a pharmacy. It's, it's. Do you agree? I'm a bit bored of people saying, you know, recently, especially people saying, do you know what the problem is? It's the media. Don't fucking read it then. It's no it, the media, and the media is a reflection of society. If if if, if you say things like uh, all there is in the news is, is about the royals, don't click it. Don't fucking click it. If you fucking click it, you are part of the fucking problem. Yeah. Stop fucking clicking it. They won't fucking write it. It's really simple. Or if they say things like, "Oh, BBC ITV was shit this weekend." Was it? Yeah, there was only pop f- pop factor, blah, 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 right? Yeah, I sat there for three hours. It was all shit. Why the fuck did you watch it? <laughs> I, know no, you, I know what you mean, but it's very hard. It. It's very hard to collectively ch- turn around that frigate, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we, <laughs> absolutely. But then it's, a, it's an education problem. It's in everything else. But it's not the, you know, the media only sell what sells. It's not, it's fuck all to do with it. Saying, oh, it's their fault. Yeah, fucking hell. It's everyone's fault. Yeah, it's just people. It's just people putting the blame on somebody else for the thing I said. So, like, yeah, they'll say that. But as soon as a as soon as an article is saying you you you'll never guess what so and so did next. <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> the second, yeah, absolutely. It's like I just scroll. I when it celebrity stuff. Honestly, I'm at a point. I I like the royal stuff. It. Really? Yeah, it's like um a low effort soap opera, isn't it? You mm. know, like if you can't go to watch. Like two and a half though. hours a week. Of, uh, uh, I don't so. know. You get a lot of value for money out of the Queen. You take it down on a personal level. We don't pay fuck mm. all, really. No, yeah, that's. I uh, know, no, not worried about the fist. She makes, a, she makes a fortune. She, she, she makes uh, us a fortune. Dipshits love her. No, but I just mean you can sort of read a couple of paragraphs and you've got your, your weekly fill of the Royals, haven't you? I get, I get a yearly fill, just about five minutes of listening to them wittering on about anything. I think he had. Uh, William came to Suffolk during lockdown. Oh no, Norfolk wasn't it? I think they went to Sandringham, didn't they? And we had a pint of Aspels, that, and they kind of cleared out the pub. They said it was quite handy because the regulars stayed away. I bet they fucking did. He had like four armed guards. <laughs> They're going to go. Oh, I might just touch him. Don't touch him. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, never find the body. That's it. That's all the news. <laughs> so, yes. What are we? Should we, give, should we talk to David? It's yes, let's talk, let's talk to David about vaping and stuff. No, we need to do the basic stuff. John, take we it do, away. Do. Okay. I don't know where to put it. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, David. We're when did you, you were a smoker before you started vaping, assuming me? Yes. And when, when, did you, when did you begin vaping? I began vaping just over four years ago. So 2016, I went full-time vaping just... Um, April, just after Easter. Right, we dual, been, dual, dual fueling before that. But... Yeah, I was sort of da- dabbling for about six months before that. I was sort of dabbling and trying to find something. That, but that was that, that was the point when I went, right, I'm putting some money into this. And I did, and I haven't looked back since. Obviously, you found as... your feet. You found your feet fast, I will say. Like four years. You were like, yeah. you were like, there better be a fucking community for this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a fucking... Yeah, once yeah, I, I tend to be once I once I get into something, I go head first. 
Normally it, it does help pay... putting your money in as well, though, doesn't it? It does concentrate yeah. your efforts. Well, that's that's what I knew is I wouldn't I wouldn't I'd keep messing around if I didn't make sure I'm going to throw some money at this. Problem with that problem with that was a I immediately bought the wrong thing. So then immediately had to spend more money to find the right thing. But then obviously with vaping, when you get into the hobbyist side, I just been spending money ever since. But you know, overall, overall less than I would have done had I carried on smoking. What, what was your first proper proper vape then? But the, the first thing, the, the the thing that I always put as uh, as that got me off it was a uh, was an e leaf. I think it was an e leaf mini. It was the tiny little thing that had a little circular screen on it. So it's like oh, yeah. oh, right. for a minute. Yeah. That and a, a bog standard Nautilus BVC coil tank. Yeah. And just that, and that was got me off. But then I, I quickly what was moved your, on. What was your cigarette of choice? We didn't, we didn't do that. That's important too. I, many of these towards the end, it was Marlboro Lights. Right. Um, yeah, but I, to your friend. Yeah, I was, I, I was, in the early years, I was a fan of um, Lucky Strikes, but my nice, girl, right? girlfriend at the time and my friends hated it, so... They, they do stink. That's yeah. the problem. With the American brands, like, I, I liked a Red Marlboro sometimes. Or, they, Camel did something called Camel Natural, which they didn't fuck about with tobacco. Yeah, I remember that. All right. and, and they stink like shit. They're lovely taste. Oh, but fucking horrible. Really, really smell fucking dreadful. That's but yeah, no, I, yeah, I didn't 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 mind the lucky job. Obviously, through the years being in different jobs and stuff, I went on the gamut to like was it was it Park Lane? Park was Lane, I was yeah, on yeah, for a long time, and and Mayfair and Mayfair Lights when they came along. <sighs> I'm just gonna defend it. I was gonna say shit cigarettes always sound posh. A good cigarettes don't. That's the rule. Like, like when you think of Dorchester, shit cigarette. Richmond, <laughs> shit cigarette. Yeah, Pall Mall. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, well they're not they're not cheap. Yeah. Oh uh, no, Dunhill. not really. Oh, not very nice. No, no. I never, I don't think I ever smoked Dunhill. Actually, saying that I was going to mock them. I used to smoke a, a consulate when I'd got a cold. I'm having a consulate. We've never a had anyone on that's ever said embassy. No, no embassy. Well, it was quite. But even where though, I... but they were a really mainstream brand, weren't they? Mm. They were, but they, wasn't it mainly sort of older people? I guess smoking? maybe. I'm, 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 I remember my nan. No. I think smoked embassies. No, my uh, when I was at school, you were either like an embassy number one kind of person or a Benson Edges. That was mm. it. Like you were a B&H Gold or embassy. And if you did it was scab, scab, it was Lab or Butler or uh, Benson Sweep Ups or Sovereign. As Sovereign. Oh. Sovereign. Oh, it's, oh, yeah, I remember Murder. when they came out. Yeah, anyway, it was it was yeah ben, Benson Edges Gold and and I think oh. I the, the, the Benson Edges Light. When they're well, see, Chris, Chris, that. Chris was a dunhill international. Anyway, <clears throat> yes, and you. Anyway, you started vaping. What was the flavour? Sorry, what was the flavour you went with? So the, the the first one that mainly got me off it was um, a a energy drink, Red Bull alike, which couldn't be called Red Bull, so it's called Toro Rouge. Yeah, right. Yeah, good. That was I used to I, go in. I, yeah, I used to go in. I think say, I had Red I... Cow before. Well, I was that years ago, eight years ago. Yeah, I think loads of them had loads of different Yeah, but I had that, and then I quickly moved on to um, Elements Pink Lemonade. Mm-hmm. Lovely tasted and dirty as fuck. That's yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it would just be like the vapor tank. Oh, time for a new coil. There you go. Yeah, that got expensive fun. quickly. So I moved Someone on was to talking that. about Elements the other day, and I was like, it's the dirtiest shit ever. <laughs> I don't even get it. It tastes nice, but initially and I think they did, they did a really good job of getting in the distros and therefore yeah. they did a really good job of getting in most vape shops I think and I think... The, the branding was off the chart at the time everyone was being really overcomplicated and cartoon characters and bullshit yeah. and elements just knocked it out of the park it was just a simple uh, logo so many times you often, I, I've so many times I've seen bad branding you, you, somebody shows you something and you go that's just bad no one's going to get it because it's shit, you know. Yeah, you just, I, I think cause you've gone the wrong way. Yeah, I saw some of that the other day on a new a new load of e-liquids that were I saw on a very prominent website, and I was like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. No, don't yeah. Do yeah, so yeah, many yeah. times you just talk. When you try to talk, to, it, it's really difficult in every business ever trying to tell somebody their branding's off is one of the most difficult conversations because there's no there's no way to do it. You you know, it's not a slight thing. It's always a massive no. Uh, yeah, I remember some, some, some terrible ones. Anyway, um, is, is that all the basic ones? I'm just trying to think of any more basic. Oh, reviewers. Who 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 are you watching? Who are you watching? Early dolls. 
Early, no, early Doors, uh, the very first one was Dean the Vaping Biker. Uh, Obviously uh, led me on to the he, idea of a new show. He wouldn't have been uh, doing it that long. Not four years been, ago, no. Yeah, I think he's yeah, doing it. He's done about five. He's done about five years, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So I, I sort of came in towards the end of of the Scott Bonner era in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I, I, I never really saw much of Scott's stuff. Obviously, saw the historical stuff. But yeah, it was it was mainly the vaping biker, and then onto here, and then obviously onto Todd and various people from there. Don't blow him up. He's in chat hiding somewhere. But <laughs> egotistical little fucker. <laughs> He'll leave me. He's got what he wanted. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he, he, he got he got the name mentioned, so that's why I go tick yeah. that tick that one off. I'm off now. Wait, they've said it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> is that that is all? That's all standard ones. Right. The vaguely vaping related podcast. How has this come about? They went. They went very quiet, didn't they? They yes. almost stopped. I thought almost. they'd stopped. Um, yeah, they basically they they had they had me on as a guest because they started a new thing where they wanted to get people in the community in. They had me on as a guest. I thought I'd killed the podcast, <laughs> and then they released a few more, and then they went quiet for a while, um, sort of around the time of like the start of lockdown and stuff like that. And then they started up again. And they invited me on for the first episode. Unbeknownst to me, they've been having conversations in the background. Obviously, the first episode went long, so we put it into a two-parter, and then they asked me to come back next week. And then, in the meantime, uh, Mr. Chandler, who I've seen in the chat, he um, updated the logo and put my picture on it. <laughs> and then, and then, the, and then I, I saw I saw that update happen. I was like, ah, okay. And then we finally said, do you want to be in the podcast? And I said, well, I probably I better had to no, say yes mate. now. <laughs> Not for me, mate. No, nah, I'm all right. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, no, I mean, I was, I, I was surprised because, like I said, I have been vaping very long. I'm not part of the industry. I consider myself a hobbyist vapor, but not an expert in any particular area. So, it, I mean, I suppose uh, uh, I, 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 I bring that. I can bring that level to it. I, I guess that might be why, because obviously, Chandler's very experienced vaping. Jimmy was in the industry, and I can come along going, "What does that mean then?" Yeah, and I always think the best thing, like, the best, like whenever we, we've changed people, over, I think everybody we've ever, whenever you know, whenever we've done redos and on the show and stuff like that, the people who work out who have been hosts, whenever we've spoken to them, have gone, no, I don't want to do, that. no, you don't want me, no, including Richard, no, um, and whenever when we, when we started doing, including James, including Brad, no, 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 no. no. And that's kind of who you want, because <laughs> the guy yeah. kicking your door in is not, it's not going to help. Well, so, yeah, it also you can see. I think why. you're very personable. I, that's probably what that is. Yeah, I think I think that's yeah. I, I don't quite know what I bring to it, but I said it's it's it, it seems Fucking to work. In so. order with those two, <laughs> Presum presumably. How how I, so I, how I, many I, how many have you officially done now? How many how many have you I, been in? I've been well. On, I think I think the next one's either episode six or seven that we're recording this weekend, um, which Jimmy wants me to mention. We have a special guest on. I don't even know who it is yet. Wow. But yeah, I think it's. I think we're on. Hopefully, he does. We're on um, six or so. It's episode six or seven coming up. So this will be my sixth or seventh. Are you? Uh, uh, I think I know what it is. Is it that you own a watch or a way of keeping the time? <laughs> is that the way it really is? Yeah, it could be that. Yeah, I mean, I think. Yeah, I mean, I can be a bit. Chandler, he's got a watch. Fucking hell! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when the, when the conversation about you know, oh, you know, we, are we podcasting this? But yeah, fine. What time? And I just leave it to them. And I'm just like, like, well, I'm at home, so any time's fine with me. But obviously, you know. Do do you listen to the podcast when it goes live? Do you actually because because of the one thing I used to do a podcast. Not many people know that, but I used to do a vaping podcast and. I, it was the only thing I've ever done I could actually tolerate my, listening to myself. I, like I never would watch my own video or anything like that, or this show. Mm. I'd never watch a show, but the actual podcast I could actually drive home listening to my my, my own podcast. Do you yeah, do you listen I'm, to it, Pat? Um, I'm starting to get used to hearing my own voice um, coming back at me, um, which takes a bit of getting used to for anybody. Yeah. Um, yeah. When you first hear it, you're like, "That's not me. That's not what I sound like." And in the end, you go, "Oh, it is fair enough. I'll deal with it." But, but I um, think, I think, uh, uh, but I think that's a really natural human and a really good thing as well to not want to do because you, mm -hmm. when you're doing when you're doing like a 
And if you're doing anything back, like you won't watch this show when you're doing something when when you're trying to get something right, and you're reshooting something or doing something like that, you have to be hypercritical because if you thought it was it was all right, then it was probably pretty good. If you thought, but, but you because you know exactly what's about to happen because you fucking did it, so you know every, everything about it. I don't. I think I listened. I think I've listened to I, 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 shows I've been on with the. Vaguely vaporated. I think I listened back to one because I didn't think Chandler had been able to get the sound in an expo the first type of time I was on the show. But he did. I was fine. And I think I was about probably about six beers in when I spoke to him. And I thought I didn't really remember it. So <laughs> I thought I'd better check. Um, and the last one because um, Chandler said, I don't know why, but loads of, I think it was Russians had downloaded that put that one I was on and I said right. right and he said yeah it's weird massive pickup in Eastern Europe but I don't really understand it and I thought I better have a listen back and then I listened back and I, went, and I, I listened to about 10 minutes and I thought I think any man on earth has said fuck as many times as I said fuck <laughs> in the last 10 minutes and I just imagine all these Russians like going like trying to work out how to say the word fuck what don't worry <laughs> it's free sit down listen it's but unbelievable what, yeah. <laughs> what's the best way people should check it out? Is it, so, is it SoundCloud or iTunes? Or it's on it, it's everything. It's, it's SoundCloud, iTunes. I just checked this evening. It's not on Spotify yet. Um, it's I'm on sure Acast, isn't it? There. Yeah, I think it's on most most things. I said, if it's I, on I, if it's on iTunes, that feed gets put in all the other apps. So yeah. any Android app or takes the iTunes feed. So so SoundCloud and or any any of your uh, podcasting listening apps will have it yeah should be able to get it on there but yeah, but yeah nice. it was an interesting one was it going back to what john said we'll see but the, fir- the first episode i was like i guessed it on way back when um obviously they had a slightly different setup so I would, first time like being recorded or anything like that i was sat there like that and i had this web page open for the recording and then halfway through the recording, I heard just in my own headphones, I heard the Windows error message, every error message sound. And I was like, okay. And then I was paranoid that obviously my recording had cut off halfway through. It hadn't, it was fine, but I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. sketch. Yeah, they've, had the some, uh, they've had some horror stories. I, I think Rick did a three hour podcast with them that got deleted. Yes. Yeah. I think, I think, and, yeah. Rick, and Rick Brad and as well. Brad. Yeah, Rick and Brad had that. I, and and Mark, was... Mark had one too. Yeah. Toddlington, he had one too. I did <laughs> one where I, where I was really, really poorly and I kept running off to be sick. Oh, God. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I didn't know that. But I don't really... know if that ever made it to air or not. Um, okay, it's not, it isn't it? Weirdly, it's not on um, Acast. I don't understand why it's not on there, but it's not. It's on Beyond Pod. Because it is on Beyond name. Pod, yeah, I've got it on Beyond Pod. Uh, it's a nice little Android app. Beyond Pod, if you want to listen to it. Uh, I told yeah, you good. about it. You told me about Beyond Pod? Yeah. Okay. No, probably didn't. I don't <laughs> know. I don't know. I I'm don't backing know. out you now. Have. You may I have. Probably, I've, I've, had it. I've had it for about five years. You may <laughs> have. You may have. You may have. Um, so, yes. So, enjoying it. So, enjoying it, though. Enjoying it. It's very yeah, liberating, no, it's... isn't it, when they can't see you? Well, it's... Yeah, it's, it, it, it's good. I say I find it interesting. It's certainly good for me now because... At least I know I'm going to have a conversation with another human being every two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> with, like working from home and and not going out about that, that much. So yeah, that's quite that's quite good. But um, no, yeah, like I said it's interesting. I said hopefully people enjoy what I've got to say. I think I went I went on a bit of a ramble on the last one because we started talking about data, but um, <laughs> that was that, that was one. But um, you know, I said it. I think it's I think it's going well. I said I. I like I said to John when he invited me on the show, I, said, I can't think why they invited me on it, but if they want me there, I'll turn up and I'll. Uh, we like people. We like you, David. Can we? Because obviously, the what was the first show you came to? Because you jam you, jam two. Oh, no, because he, there's the there's the show he came to where he didn't he, he came but didn't it was, do it. No, which it was, was it, vape fest, wasn't it? No, it was e- Expo was so, so 2016. I started vaping properly. The yeah. Um, then the early year expo, I just kind of watched it, thought I should have gone. I went to the expo, the return that year, and then went, 
okay and then just sort of wandered around didn't see anybody did my usual thing of just like oh there was one wandered around twice out in an hour yeah yeah I, I, that my you, first you first did yeah, yeah, I, I did that. I did fest like that too. Yeah, I did that, and then when I started to meet people, then was um, at Vape Fest two thousand seventeen. You got dragged in by Jimmy, I think. Jimmy no, and it Charlie. was it was it was uh, the lovely Mister Schwar. Oh, Mister Schwar. Mister yes. Schwar came came over to me in a field. I was I, I was at that stage when I was like. I'd wandered around twice in 20 minutes. My brain was going, time to head back to the hotel. Um, <laughs> and then Ian Schwar came over and spoke to me. And um, he was with Andy. I can't remember his last name. And what was that, 2017? That was 2017. Yeah. So, so I went to there, obviously met those people, met Jimmy and Chandler there as well. And obviously met um, a few of you. I, mean, I remember coming up to you and saying hello when you were frantically doing um, raffle tickets. All oh, right. <laughs> But um, yeah, no, do you it was, remember? It was, I don't know. No, is that black, what I black spots in August? I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. She had, Everyone's just... got someone that's dragged them in. Yeah, um, yeah. I think exactly. I think D- I think Dean Dean was mine. To be fair, uh, at the first, maybe might have been the first or second proper expo. Um, I was just queuing. I was just queuing, even though I had the press pass thing. And he literally mm. just dragged me, just grabbed my arm, and he, what you, he went, "What you just walked past?" And I went, "What are you doing?" And just dragged me through the little side door thing, because uh, I was, yeah, I was going to be late in and all this sort of stuff. And yeah, then he he sort of made, made me talk to people. And uh, I think oddly, the first one, so I ghosted my first vape fest, two thousand twelve, the two thousand thirteen. Just wandered around, bought a couple of drip dips, saw Bonner do the raffle. Um, didn't speak to anybody left um that was the last one in the pub wasn't it Hmm? that was the last Last one one, that was the yeah the marquee yeah Yeah, outside the pub yeah and then oddly the next time i went was they'd got the field and i was doing sv and i was agent for big j at the time and um and so i went from doing that not knowing anybody at all to pull up in the car uh with um don't know who i went with don't know can't remember but i remember getting there in the car oh i think it was robert perkins uh drove up and i got a lift this was a year before we started doing the show we started doing the show late in the year <clears throat> pulled up to the gate and the guy who was doing the tickets went uh all right tickets fucking hell fucking hell it's- all right, mate. You all right? Big J, are you coming in? And I went, oh, 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 what? <laughs> and then just wandered around this field. It's really, really fucking weird, especially with SV2, people coming up to me. So, so yeah, I went from absolutely not speaking to anybody from being totally forced into talking to everybody. Yeah. Because already Once done. you're in, you're in. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, quite what, cool. What, once you're known, that's it. But yeah, I've just, just seen the Jimmy Parker's surfaced. And he said, David is my new carer, but he doesn't get paid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I remember Jimmy's first. I see, I remember Jimmy's first show was a uh, jam, and he was over the other side of the road. He was the guy where he was over the other side of the road looking at us all stood there. And I saw him go, fuck it. <laughs> and just walk <laughs> over the road. That's Because really that's, 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 that's the thing to do. It's just going, it's, like, but it's, it's impossible sometimes. Dude. It's tough. Right. It's tough. Uh, Should we new, do some new bits? New then talk stuff. Some shit? New stuff. You're gonna have to look at new stuff on on the YouTube feed. Oh yeah, sorry, I can't show it. That's fine. Uh, right, new stuff. I'll put it up now, and then I'll sort of talk strangely for a few seconds. You always talk strangely You're from the north. So uh, <coughs> yeah, it'd be right. Um, so new stuff. The first thing, and uh, we are legally obliged to show this. Um, uh, who, 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 Steam, I think, show, show, I will show, oh, 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 my internet that? went bad. Oh, cool, okay. Oh, start from Steam Island. <laughs> right, Steam Island have announced that coming very, very soon is the Ha stuff. The more Ha stuff. There's going to be a Black Ha DLC. That's what the cool kids calling it now. Do you know what that stands for, John? Right. There's something like Dizer, like Diamond What's Laser... Stuff? Crusted or something, um, coated or something. Yeah, it's mine. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But it means really, really, really fancy black finish. 
Um, so they've got the black one coming. They've also got the two mil kit, the big window kit, and all that stuff is coming. So you can transform the look of your heart or get a black one very, very soon at Steam Island. Um, so that's new, and that's the thing. Is that is that is that on your feed now? Can you see? Yes, the heart? yeah, I can see it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go on. Cool. That's that, that's that's the new <coughs> modified version of it, isn't it? Mm. What have they done to the, have they done something to the deck? Um, not the. I think the um, the underside of it. They've uh, slightly changed it so as you've got a so there's a um, rubber thing underneath it to stop leaking issues that people had with it to assist uh, with that. Expected at the end of September says Mick, and it stands for Diamond Light Carbon apparently. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Uh, so there you go. Uh, and we've now got a picture of uh, C-3PO's dick. Yes, it? we have. We have uh, some new things from Purge Mods dropping in at Evolution. These are Evolution's pictures. Evolution vaping dot whatever. Um, it's not a, not an official advertisement. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, everybody knows where this is. This, this is a new added one. Added an O-ring. Added an O-ring. Added, 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 added an O-ring. Added an O-ring. Wow. Okay. Cool. Um, so some new stuff from Purge Mods. This is their new. I think it's called the Guillotine. No, that might be wrong. Either way, they've got some new mo mechs coming out, and this is one of them, and it's very shiny. Um, very expensive, aren't they? Purge Mods. Uh, you can't get around that. This is nearly four hundred pounds. This one, I believe. If you're in, if you're into it, I assume it's telescopic. Hence the popular bit. I. It's actually not. I don't believe. Oh, that's pure, okay. purely a design oh, choice, I believe. Uh, if you're into it, it's great. I, yeah, yeah, I, absolutely. Um, if you're into it, great. And the good, they are good. It's just it's um, naval brass. Is it, it naval brass? I believe so. Uh, but it's nearly four hundred pounds, so slightly off my radar. Uh, so that's, that's new brew, new brew, new 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 brew, new brew. New, new, new. Nibiru. This is um uh is Rob, isn't it? This is another Steam Island one, I think. Yeah, Steam Island. Yeah, yeah. It was very I definitely want to see how this vapes because it's very, very sort of 2014, 15 looking. Mm. Um, knurling top and bottom, like wide knurling top and bottom. Yeah. Um but uh, Again, this could be one of those ones that it could. I like evolutions on a form, so I kind of think if this is everything from 2015 to 2020, all the uh, hard edges rounded off, uh, it could be fucking amazing. I think it's mod dog. Um, isn't and it? I don't think. It... No, is it mod yeah, dog? Yeah, mod dog. I think the net's dropping again. Yeah, it keeps kind of pop, 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 but it's okay. Uh, yeah, so apparently it's Mod I think it's Mod Dog and uh, Frankenmiser in chat uh, says he's got it and it's lovely. Ah, uh, good. Um... This is the other one from Purge Mods. This is the guillotine, uh, and they've gone with a lots of almost a resin effect here. And this is oh, 20... this is the guillotine. Yeah, right. I believe so. This is twenty one seven hundred, and it's um. It's got one of these sort of contact side switching things, uh, but it's pure, oh, pure mech, it very purge, pure mech, uh, sort of that uh, resiny, marbly effect. Oh, you're dropping out again. Oh, nightmare. And, it, and again, <laughs> it's uh, not cheap. Not cheap. I don't like that. <laughs> not for, what's the price? Nearly, not for the nearly price. 400, I believe. Oh, you see, that's mad. I can sometimes that like that that big lump of brass. I can't kind of, remember. Yeah, fine, fair enough. That is not four hundred quid. Yeah, yeah. I'm a bit worried by that. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck wants a squared off fucking you know uh, uh, battery tube. That's quite weird. It's a lot of waste. Also, the the the, per the thing that the purge symbols written on. Mm. But yeah, I agree. No, it can't be, but it looks. Yeah, I do. Yeah, <laughs> it looks. <clears throat> and you, you kind of—that's the kind of mod you think. Oh, at least I can throw it around. Not for four hundred quid, <laughs> you can't. Yeah. 
three uh sean toop says 350 pound too much um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of with you on that. I well, got an argument. you know, Maybe. they've got a big following, haven't they? And they yeah, do, yeah. they do what they do. Good they do what they do. On that. Uh, oh no, they do very well. They do very well. Um, I've put another one on screen now. Yeah, I've got it. Um, and I've I don't know what it is. So here's an EC. <laughs> is, is this the other? Steam Island one. I think so. I think this is Steam Island as well. This one is a DNA sixty. I do know that. It's DNA oh, I know 60. the one. The one they have is a DNA seventy-five. Uh seventy-five. I meant seventy-five. Oh. Right. Um, oh, this is the one that's quite. This is the one. There's no scale in the. Uh, there is scales in the picture. Huh. There's no scale on that picture, but it, it, it's, it's dinky, it, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a single eighteen six fifty, I believe. Yeah, it's really There's small. DNA seventy-five C. I. There are some other pictures that I didn't manage to get, but the yeah, I think it's quite pretty actually. I don't think it's bad, especially as that's that's I assume metal. It's not actually snakeskin. Horrible. No, um, and leatherette. It's another classic example of do at least one product shot with a tank on. Oh, yeah. It's so we can get, get a much scale. better feel for exactly what the situation is. This. Yeah, and uh, okay. Ohm Comforts in chat says, Purge's quality, I have a few of them, if you like them, you like them. That's uh, exactly, I was just going to read 100%, 100% that. Totally agree. agree. They're pretty, they are, yeah. they are, they, they, you don't get a reputation by accident, and they've got a reputation nope. for indestructibly good mechs, and uh, we, we all support that, it's just not our speed, I think. Yeah, Dom says that the one Mark Todd got the other day, I think it is, I think that's uh, who showed the really? scale shot today. Oh, oh yeah, maybe That's not that. his. You didn't pitch it off him because he doesn't have a piece of snakeskin. No, whoa! Has he still got those trousers? No, he doesn't have those trousers now. The no. police took them. <laughs> and this is yes. probably the big, big announcement of the week. This really is. I don't know. What the you, scrape know what you. arse. <laughs> don't call it the arse. The scrape a rise. The scrape. A rise from Stackwarm, beautiful Chris, who was on the show not long ago. Um, this is they've started teasing us. This is what they do. Um, I believe this is an October release. Yeah, I think so. Uh, an October release of their latest scrape, their latest tank, and uh, that's the I, I first out. proper teaser picture. He dropped a he dropped a big hidden hint on the show, didn't he? But I didn't know Richard. Um, there's too many fucking Richards in the world. Mm. Richard, who's Norfolk Richard David? Jack. Norfolk Richard David. Jack. Yes, he he realised he mentioned something heavy metal. It's named after uh, uh, there's a heavy metal title, or something like that. Something yeah. To do with it. Yeah. Yes, good spot. Good spot. So this is the first teaser pick of what looks like a very nice looking RTA. Yes, and how, how are we saying that? A rise, I guess. A rise. With I'm little... really interested. Sorry, David. No, so I say with those little lines there, it looks like all rizzle to me. Yeah, it does. Yeah, ah, I agree. Okay. That's why I was kind of waiting for him to say they, it. They've, <laughs> they've always done this, haven't they? They've always done something that could be interpreted. Because everyone just says enduro, don't they? That's the first one where it's actually... Because you've that... always been able to say extreme, extreme, extreme. Yeah. It's always been like that, so they've continued in that trend. Arise, rise, a rise. So, Johan saying... I, I don't even know. Sorry, I'm going to butcher this, because I don't know anything about heavy metal. Sabu, sabutura? Sabutura. Sep. 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 Sepultura. Right, that was the hint that we were given, and that's the band. Right. But we didn't notice. It was a very sneaky little pucker. I will say that's a nice drip dip. There's yeah. not I too much that. we can I say like on these teaser pictures. But, uh, uh, but that's the thing. This is the thing I was on about before. Uh, this is the latest Aegis pod. I didn't thing. hate this. I just saw you accidentally flipped it up. I liked it's it. It's tiny. It's absolutely tiny, and if it has the same coils as all the other boosts, then I'm all over this. This is going to be a pocket-friendly Aegis Hero, it's called. Tiny, tiny Aegis Boost, basically, by the uh, by the looks of it. And uh, I have no issue with that at all. That might be very, very nice. That is a pub mod, if ever there was one. Yeah. Yeah, pub mod holiday carry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 
We're absolutely up for that. Is it integrated battery? Do you know anything? Uh, it is a built-in battery. Built-in battery. <clears throat> have we got any? Have we got any Ma? Have we got any Ma? Uh, no, I don't have the spec. I might have this. I might have the specs in an email actually. Um, but uh, I don't have specs to hand. Definitely it'll be. You. It'll be about eleven hundred Ma. And you're getting this. Yes. Yeah. Ah, see, it rebuilt again. They're gonna do. They will be a rebuildably bit and everything, and yeah. Yeah, oh, you just and it's got a board, so you'll be because there'll be a minimum resist. There'll be a very high minimum resistance. Uh, you that know, like point seven or something like that. They take the same pod things as the other ages. It won't ages. take the same pod, but it'll take the same coil. All right. Uh, okay. And the coils are excellent, and that's that's really that's been the secret of the of the ages success. Although everyone enjoys the indestructibility and all that sort of stuff the actual coils are what makes it work because it's a great bait mm. so that might be okay Dom this is excited is... about that he, I can see he's just he's put he another, another ages. he meant he meant another ages hey, he meant the... they've definitely milked it they have definitely milked it um, but uh, why not if it's going to go do it if there's gold at the rack you know keep cleaning that glass uh, so Ultrona have teamed up with Fallout Vape, apparently. Uh, Ultrona, we show quite often, and they've got these wacky stab mods. That's what seems to be their bag. They seem to have, they seem to be working on and about to release a normal-looking mod, not made of stab wood, with Fallout Vape, uh, and it's the Gay. <laughs> um, G A E A. I don't know how you'd say that. Gaya. In it, such a weird. Gaya. 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 I saw they always say about Richard and I. Richard's gay. Yeah. If you okay. if you missed out the red and the green, the other you, two are you know, fine. It, it's a, such a different shot when you kind of go, "Yeah, I'm in," and then you go, "No, I'm not." I don't I mind it. Say, I don't mind it. It's weird. Do you know what? There was a really weird thing about the mix. You know, the mix have released their coloured <laughs> versions this week. People were going ape shit about it. Stuart, like, Stuart Drummond's just literally. But I have to say, hit the nail on the head with who the fuck are Fallout Vape? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't, look, didn't want to look stupid when you said, <laughs> said that. I was like, I've never heard of him. <laughs> no, I just like reading the... I just like gleaning any information I get from the picture because I've made yeah. no notes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I agree. I don't know who they are. Did Sorry, you, John. Did anybody, did anybody see the kickback against the uh, the mix, you know, the release of colours? It was, on, it was on the shed. Somebody posted a picture of... The, the new mix colours. There's like a brown, a pink, and a red. And there are people kind of go, load of shit, fuck it. Who wants a red one? Don't fucking buy it. <laughs> yeah. You fucking idiot. Where the drop down menu is, and there's colours, don't pick one of them. <laughs> it's not that fucking hard. Yeah, I, I think I, I think it it, it it does remind you that they don't still don't quite know why something was popular. But st- but they but in a case like this, they're just giving options, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, and I don't mind. And they've given you, but the, the good thing is they've put those options in the picture. They could have done a red, green, purple, and a fucking luminous yellow, but they didn't. There is a black. So as long as you know, yeah, when there's, there's a range in the show, you, ones. yeah, they give you if they give you the normal one. Oh yeah, fuck it. They're kind of sort of Yeehee he SX class type sort of thing, aren't they? You know yeah, the big I'm ones. Right. Uh, this is new from <laughs> iJoy. It's purely a starter thing. Going for the whole simplicity thing, high, medium, low are your what vaping options. Uh, it's just a little starter kit from them. I think it's called the Pick Go uh, from iJoy, and this is new and it'll probably be all right for smokers. I died there. The pitch came up briefly. Oh, it's come back now. Right. Why the fuck? Oh, okay. One's leaning on it. I thought it got a lean on it. <laughs> it's a pretty, yeah, pretty, it's pretty standard. It was very sort of four years ago, I would say. I don't really think there's. Yeah, that's a hard sell. Even in the shop, that's a hard sell. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's very. It's not enough. They've gone for simple, through. but it's come out basic. Yeah, even I think I'd pick a, pick a just a sticker rather than that. You've got the next pictures up. Yes, and it is the Expromiser V4. Uh, Mark <laughs> Todd has done a video for this already, um, and it's available. Soon, um, it's it's a name. It's a name we all. It's got historical value, hasn't it? Expromiser. Yeah, I remember nail. The, I'm getting really. I bought the first one just to prove that it couldn't possibly work, and I was totally right. Yeah, it, it could. I think one of was, them was okay. Yeah, but the first one you couldn't build a vacuum because the fucking 
the retractable pin in the base, but as soon as you screwed it on, the vacuum was lost into the connection. It's the <laughs> stupidest fucking idea ever. And I think uh, calling it the V4 is quite, uh, I mean, fair, but didn't they go through a period of having a 1.2, 1.3, 1.4? Yeah, it is, definitely. So, oh, he's back. So, uh, so yes, so uh, it's technically the V4. I haven't seen Mark's Oh, wait there, video. Tim Rice saying the X-Prize, the V4, is well over a year old. Oh, no, that Mark's was the last... That was the last V4, says Rufus Kane. I think this is the problem. I I, think I'm looking at an old one. No, 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 no. I didn't think you were looking for an old one. I think that the problem is they've got mi up, mixed up in their numbers. I think it's... Oh, okay. Well, it may be. They, well, it's very easy to do because, like I said, there's been loads of versions, even though they say for. But anyway, Mark Todd's... Even if this is not the right one, yeah, Mark well, Todd has just put a video it? up. Yeah, Mark Todd has just put a video up for... Oh, say it literally says on it, it's 74 weeks old, this picture. But oh, fuck. Anyway, that was an image, just to give you <laughs> a taste. It shows how much we don't give a shit about the X-Promiser. <laughs> like, that's just to give you a taste give it a of fuck about what it. Mark Todd has in store for you on his channel with his latest X-Promiser review, so check that out. <laughs> uh, Umie are doing a new thing as well. This is uh, their new AIO ting. Uh so, have a look at that. That's proper weird. Gotta give, gotta give, gotta give Tim a bit of love for that. You are right. Seventy-four. Seventy-four old. weeks. We old. tried. We don't care about the expiriser. Fuck the expiriser. I told you I went further this week for new stuff. You really did. <laughs> I went four years into the past. Yeah, um, it's not on Todd's reviews either. It was it obviously wasn't a long time ago. Uh, also, this is this is proper new. This is newer than new. This is breaking news. If we had okay. a jingle for breaking news, this would be it. This is Van breaking news. There okay. you go. <laughs> Vandy Vape. Vandy Vape. I've got a new RDA. The Requiem. Requiem. 22 millimeter. Squonky. And uh, yeah, very interesting looking deck indeed. This could be uh, a squonkers paradise potentially. It's low profile, it's small, I seen it. reduced. It's yeah. I'm really? getting excited. Really? I'm damp with anticipation. Uh, they've gone with the old black and gold we were talking about before. Is but still clearly, nothing? this clearly a stainless steel option. Really? That's back now. Oh, what? It's clearly a stainless steel and a black option, but the cap looks to be the same bar in the I'm looking... Are you looking at a pod? No. I'm looking at okay. the Vandy you... Vape Requiem. You'll catch up in a second. Oh, it is, yeah, pod. Brand new RDA from Randy Vape. Squonky. It's, uh, it's got something to do with El Mono Vapador as well, which is very exciting. It's, it makes such a difference. To, I don't, I'm don't. i not a black and um, yellow fan, but the difference, just changing the tip and having the um, brush steel, I much that the same, much better in my mind. I, I don't know at all. I, I want to... I thought we'd created a standard where all stainless steel came with clear yeah. and all black came with gold. And I would appreciate if we all went back to that. Yeah, me too. Uh, so I would like to see a clear top for this. But it looks quite pretty nonetheless. And I do think that will be very squonky. Uh, it could be nice. Yeah, it does. Seem nice. That's kind of a flashback to the old stuff. But I quite, yeah, I quite like that. I reckon that's, that's that, that, that. <clears throat> that also has a mark written all over it as well. Mm hmm. So that was a, a very chaotic new segment. I um, liked it. I liked it a lot. I'm excited about the Exomizer. Why has Tony Barton written pregnancy test in chat? Oh, it was the thing. Was it the one of them? Oh, yeah. It was the Umie one. Ah, oh, right. It looks like a pregnancy test. <laughs> a I'd really win. posh one. When, when we talked about it, I, I, I likened it to a nose, nose hair trimmer. Yes, it yeah, is. It, does it's just, it is. It's that shape. It, 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 it was just the drip. It was just the drip tip. The way the drip tip was on top of the pod or the the, the atty on it, it just reminded me of a nice hair trimmer. Mm. No, it is. Yeah. It is. It is very much. Did anybody ever? Find, I bought one of them once, but I just lost it like, immediately. I, I now, I like to do the death pull with a pair of tweezers, where if you sneeze, you will kill yourself. You know, if you're gonna go, and if you if you and then you find you're dead with a pair of tweezers up your nose. So the, only, like the, the only thing that worries about that is I heard, it's heard somebody once say that you shouldn't do that because sometimes they grow in and then they grow out of the outside of your nose, the hairs. 
That's definitely not true. That. What? So you shouldn't Probably pull not. out. That's what, that's what it's saying, they so can So it could go through the side of your nose. Because they can grow, because it's sort of like the, the hairs can grow in, but I'm assuming that would just be like if when you shave, you get an ingrown hair. It would yeah, just, it would. I it got would come out eventually. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did I, used to have a, 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 um, a geography teacher who did have hairs on the outside of his nose. Maybe they were going through, but he did have like a line of hairs. Like you wouldn't notice, like, you know, you know that thing of kind of going, well, I'm a man, I'm not going to, I don't really do the beauty thing. You think, well, come on, mate, look, this <laughs> and that is fucking mental. My Just issue with the nose hair thing, I don't get how they work. What do you mean? They just, just can't tell what's going on in there. No, it's true. Too enclosed. Yep. I've seen you one that's like a, a blade, like a, a buzzing blade. That looks quite good. I want to do that that one where you put the... Well, I don't want to do it, but you, know, you put those two like wax... Oh, the wax, hair. nose wax thing. Yeah, yeah. It's stick it up, you know. And then wait for your wife to be in a real bad mood with you and then just, just pull it. I don't know how long you leave. I wouldn't have to leave it up there long, to be fair. I, I just leave it up there until I fuck my wife up. That'll be minutes <laughs> on any given int- day. Intentionally no do it instead of accidentally. Oh, I, I don't even need to bother. It's fine. It'll take me just a second or two. Why is it always geography teachers, Andy Fairchild? Do you know what? <clears throat> that geography teacher came up the other day when I was talking to my wife as well. Because his last name was Lillis, not Lillis, no, Livingston. And he had really badly fitted dentures. And so he was Mr. Living. Because every time he said an S, he whistled. There's like dogs miles away going, what was it? What? <laughs> what? Did you say something? No? Okay. We had a brilliant we were... geography teacher. Did you? She took everyone's books on the Friday to look at over the weekend so if you just happen to not have your book on a Friday right. it would never get looked at perfect so it, this went on for an entire school year and I didn't do anything we had a social science uh, mm. I, I did social science for humanities that was I'm Mrs Brealey if you're watching <laughs> shite That's the, it's really paid off recently understand we used to do pot, like basically do politics at school and there's so many 40-year-old men who I know who don't understand at all what people's jobs are. It's fucking amazing. No, don't spend it on that. They want to put it over there. It's different. It's not the same thing. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Just any other, any other business? Any Jan news? Oh, yeah, Jan news. Quick Have you decided what sweetie you're going to include? I am. Fizz whiz. It's going to be popping candy. Is that where Is you... Like a, a dipstick? No, it's like uh, oh. it's in a packet and you just pour it in your hand and then shove it in your mouth. Oh, that shit. And it explodes in your face. Mm. I've been giving away free sweets since lockdown because I just find it funny. And the latest sweet is going to be a fizz or whiz. Um, but more importantly... Sherbet uh, dip? Uh, What's up with that? Too expensive? Oh, uh, no. Maybe I'll have to check that. Right. I did kind of... Oh, I don't mind saying it on the show. It's one of those things Well, I'm extra cautious because of varying things about things going through the post. And one of the things about going through the post is I have to check whether a dog could eat it. Like, if it's a sweet and you, mm. and you open the pack and it dropped it. So, what, so can, that, ca- can dogs have fizzy candy? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. There's nothing in there that would do anything to a dog. Teach them a lesson. Uh, Twizzlers are also dog safe. And uh, weirdly, whistles, uh, whistly pops. Are How about candy also, cigarettes? Is. That'd be quite ironic. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, probably not that. And the other thing is they have to be under a certain mill uh, count because uh, otherwise it won't count as a, if you ordered a small letter and if I charged you three times as much because I was putting a free sweetie in there, you'd probably be quite pissed off with that. So I'm not doing Are you worried about appealing to children? <laughs> no, because children don't order this one. Mm. That has come up today. Because um, you could include a colouring book. <laughs> I'll do actual news instead and say PC Goyles uh, we've got a, a, a total restock and we're also getting the point two four aliens in 2.5 aliens Sean so Trooper you... said flying saucers that's a nightmare <laughs> logistically a, a logistic nightmare that won't be happening um, <clears throat> or just uh, hover to your door PC, PC Goyles so we've got the point two four two point five 2.5 inner diameter Aliens, the newest coils from PC coils are coming, and all the other coils we're getting, all they're on their way from Belgium shortly. And also, 
we are jetting off i am jetting off on holiday next saturday for one week so the the site will be shut so get your orders in now we are running drastically low on uh, can only be graham in concentrate so plenty of kits but concentrate um Ooh. And, yeah we've got an, we've got a live update what was that off of uh someone stuart in chat let's try and do this in real time oh what's the real time update uh, so he says there is a new extra miser. Right. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And I found it here. It's the extra miser TCX. And Mark Todd has been. Oh, we've crashed it. Oh. You got us all excited, and now nothing. <laughs> Hang on. get your orders in today uh right so that for some reason that crashed it but it is but <laughs> uh this we noticed this don't be sending you dodgy links again oh yes, when we were talking is. david we weren't actually on the screen it was black some of it was some of it was oh it just froze again yeah i, I now see <laughs> uh this is it this on screen now for the people watching is the new Expromiser, and I think Mark Todd is doing something, a, a video for it or something, or has. It's the Expromiser XTC, and this is the new one that I should have showed before. Oh, look at that! Oh. It's even taller than ever before. It's very German, but they are always. Yes. Uh, so suck on that, chat. Oh. So I assume it's gonna. Yeah, well, yeah. we'll find out. Well, I, I guess assume... it's a top coiler. Yeah, I assume it's going to have um, those funny wicks. Yeah, it'll have to have steel wicks, I guess. Steel wicks. If it's going to be that deep. I guess yeah. it's going to have some Phil, steel wicks. Yeah, Phil, okay. Yeah, fill fill pull on the side. That actually looks, or is it? It's either a screw or that's actually. You know, it must be a fill pot because it's got a little drip next to it, and. Yeah, but that almost looks like it's. Maybe that's when it's open. It's actually got um, a membrane in there. Uh, yes, okay. correct, correct, because they turned it round, exposing that, and then you can mm. uh, put it in. Uh, to be honest, it's probably a good thing for the Expromiser to get into top coiling because it can't leak. The, 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 the four that you showed was a top coil as well. I haven't had one since the 1.3. No, it was. I, I really didn't like it. They, they lied, and uh, the physics on the first one, they just pissed me off. It was one of those things that was really popular, and everybody said, it's like the K fun, but a third of the price. No, it's not. Yeah, it, it was always cloudier than that. Mick Blizzard in chat has said Broomhilda style, yes. I, yeah, yeah, I pretty much, that. I guess so. Perhaps that's what's tempted <clears> them back into action. Yeah, well, fair enough. Let's see, let's see yeah. what Mark... Let's see what uh, Mr. Todd says. Can I keep calling him Mark? We know, but they don't know. Uh, so yes, so that's that's that. So it was an actual thing. There was something. There was extra might as uh, news. I just didn't know what it was. And there it is. We're done. How exhausting was that? Shattering, shattering. Thanks for coming on, David. I've put the links to vaguely vaping. Excellent. Thank in you. Chat. Some, somebody in chat did say that they that they get it through Spotify. So oh, good. Oh. Sure it's there. But I said, but look out, look, look out for the. Uh, Ian has said he's been very good recently, oh. um, and we are recording Saturday morning this time instead of wow. the evening. Yeah. And it, it, he's saying he aims it will aim to get it live Sunday evening. I'm always one of the biggest pain in the ass guests. Is like we're uh, recording on Saturday evening. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> No, that's no, what yeah. it is. That, yeah, I'm not doing I had, that. To, I had to turn down for ages because of that, and then they changed to Sunday evening. Yeah, I just can never ever do. It. It's not possible to do that. Just fuck off, you know. <laughs> it's madness. So it was always I always forced them into a Sunday because I wouldn't do it otherwise. Yeah, well, it is. A, I think it's it's a you know with various people's work and stuff like that, it is a moving feast. Yeah, you 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 are quite flexible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so we've put links in chat. We will put them on the group tomorrow <laughs> as well, or maybe yes. when the new episode drops, so people get it fresh. Uh, yeah. But uh, check it out. It's really good. It's really good. There's uh, certain times when a podcast is way better than something like this. 
you know, if you're driving, you can't watch. You know, sometimes yeah. it's just better as a podcast. Sometimes it's better if you've got to do something. You just have, you can yeah, yeah if you're washing up, so you can't that. watch. Yeah, it's great. I listen to podcasts. So podcasts is good. Vaguely very related. Podcast is the UK's number one podcast. So check it out. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Thanks, David. Cheers, David. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.